Welcome back to our show called Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is an actor that has been gracing the small and silver screens for over two decades. He's appeared in some of our favorites, Law and Order, that's my mama's favorite, CSI, Soul Food, Empire, and we cannot forget his iconic role as Otis Williams in The Temptations. And now he's making us laugh on Last Call. Let's take a look. Tricks on the house. Darius is a retired football player. He's done very, very well for himself. He likes to live life to the fullest, have a great time. How do I look? Below average. Like your love life. You know, he's a people's person. He's a ladies' person. Who is this? And why is she at my table? Baby. 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 <laughs> Please welcome the NAACP Image Award winning actor Malik Whitfield. Yes. Yes. Baby. Right. Oh, yes. Ladies, ladies. How are you? It's so great. nice to meet you, Malik. Yes. How are you? Such a pleasure. Yes, Thank you for having pleasure. me. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're just going to go in your personal. We're just going to start off right real quick. Yes. Well, you know, my sister was in last call. Hey, it's a once. Yes. So, um, your <laughs> character is uh, Darius Knight. Uh, um, he owns a comedy club. Yes. Tell us about Darius. Well, he owns a bar and part of the section of uh, the bar. He got to get a little crafty to try and make some money. Yeah. Um, uh, and switched it up so they can have comedy uh, clubs and uh, a bunch of wonderful comedians come through grace the stage and also help us pay the bills yes, <laughs> yes. yes. and so you've done a lot of stand-up uh, in, in your time okay. how has that prepared you and do you embrace comedic roles I do I do you know I, I look at them a lot different from a lot of my dramatic roles uh, it just allows me to kind of be free and just uh, go with the flow mm -hmm. kind of improv sometimes and just uh, see just what hits yeah. 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 yeah 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 you got to work that stuff out on the stage you do yeah, yeah. You do. good stuff yeah. good stuff well you know I'm a Marylander <laughs> <laughs> and except for one on one with Flex Alexander there haven't been too many sets in the Baltimore area so mm. why was last call why, why was that such a good backdrop for this show you know well one you know he was uh, he used to play for the Ravens mm. so he's an ex football player with the Ravens but I think Baltimore is such a good sh uh, place because it it's got grit it's got integrity it's got you know that metropolitan feel and um, you know it just it just is accessible for all the characters that 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 people are in, whether you're in Chicago or New mm -hmm, York or mm -hmm. DC it's just got its own little special vibe to it you know so so we're kind of excited that it's in Baltimore. Yeah. Good yeah, stuff, good yeah. stuff. <laughs> you know, of course, a lot of people know you from Empire, and it's a story that just has mm -hmm. not uh, been able to die uh, with Jesse Smollett. We have to address the elephant in the room. Uh, what are your, what's your take on w where this case is now, and um, how do you feel about it? Well, you know, me personally, having the opportunity to work with him, spend time with him, uh, he's really an intelligent, brilliant young man. Yes. Um, I think often it's too easy for us to get caught up into, you know, whatever you're doing over there I'm not liking or how you're doing it I'm not feeling. But when it comes to what we're going through overall in our personal and our business life, we have to have people that really support us on another level. So initially, even when things came out, it was like, you know what, if this is going on, obviously we need support and we need help mm -hmm. you know and uh, so whatever the circumstances are um, I don't think a lot of people realize how brilliant he is not just as a singer and a actor mm -hmm. but also as a director mm -hmm. so he was doing multiple different things in different facets that are really really challenging right. um, so to see that he's not being prosecuted I'm actually relieved of that okay you know because people pe people get real focused on so many different things and people get excited about watching Iron Man, but you forget that Robert Downey Jr. Mm -hmm. was waking up in people's bedrooms, going through their windows. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a, it really, really does cause for catharsis of, of healing when we see people get to go through the dark times and also make it through. Yeah, yes. yeah, good. That's, yeah. good. That's good. Yeah, well, very well stated. Let, let's talk about making it through. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. okay. We're going to talk about you for a second. <laughs> so you're originally from New York. From the BX. So how does a young man from the Bronx become this multifaceted actor that we see today? Uh, I would like to say it's an accident, but I really think it's about uh, people who've taken the time, mm -hmm. really not to not just invest in me, but invest love, mm -hmm. truth, some direction, and care. Mm 
Yeah. Um, and I got that at a real early age, especially from a teacher who, uh, who could see, I was just, you know, I was kind of, you know, running around in the Bronx and in the 80s, in the early 80s, the Bronx was really kind of like half burnt down. It was, you know, it was, uh, you know, the Fort Apache mm -hmm. of a hard life. So to go through that and have someone step up as so many of our young kids need and our young ladies need yes. the care yeah. mm -hmm. and saying, hey, you know what, you don't have to go be doing this, you don't have to do that. And what are our options? Right, yes. And so now, even when we look at our school systems and they're taking away so much of our creative arts, oh, yeah. we were saying, well, what, what are our kids going to focus on to have a positive outlet? Yes. So I had a teacher introduce me to acting. I didn't have any clue about acting, wasn't interested in acting. I knew I liked to watch different strokes from time <laughs> to time on the TV, you know. And so to have that become a reality and also to see the students that she was working with to get them to college yes. and come back, not just leave to go to college, but come back and work with the younger kids, yes. it introduced me to a whole new avenue of that I really, really had no idea. My goodness, my goodness. And so through that span, I got to learn the business mm -hmm. and also got to train and study, but because of someone who took the time to care. That's what that's uh, uh, teachers matter, and mm -hmm. I just wish we could pay them their worth. Yes, my God, uh, my I, God. Yeah, it, it's yeah, it's 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 unfair when we look at uh, the way our teachers are are being uh, paid. Absolutely. Yes. But at I'm the end of the one. day, I'm married to one. We know when we're at home. If your kid, you know, you get that call or the news pops up, hey, something's going on, alert, or you know, we have so many different terrorist scenarios that are just ugly in the world today first thing you're doing is I need my baby to be safe that's right and and the number one person who's there that headlines teacher. That, teacher. Teacher. that teacher that teacher so we, we need them. to really really Absolutely. implement something in that really supports them on another level well I know we got to let you go but we can't yes. let you go without talking about Tyler Perry's if loving you is wrong is back mm -hmm. give us a one-word answer what can we expect from your character this season <sighs> Craziness. Craziness. Yes. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's the rain. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Malik. Yes, it has yes. been an absolute pleasure yes. to sit here and yes. interview you today and uh, continue you. success on everything. I thank you. And 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 we have April first. Mm -hmm. We're running all twelve episodes of Last Call, so oh, nice. it, yes. it it, it uh, leads us up to our finale. Oh, good. And then every Tuesday night. Uh, you're on everywhere. Own, you know, yeah. with, with uh, Tyler. Absolutely. You well, know, that's so great. Do you think, man? How thank you. Yes. Me too, me too. Yes, yes. Yeah, thank you so much. <laughs> Make sure uh, to catch Malik in the season finale of Last Call, which he mentioned next week on Bounce.